At the end of the 18th century, California was still part of the Spanish Empire. Under the peaceful blue skies of this beautiful country, the people lived in constant fear of the army. Each day they grew more afraid and more angry, but they were powerless to fight the cruelty and injustice of the Spanish soldiers. It seemed to the people that the reign of terror would never end. They had almost given up all hope. The old days of peace and happiness seemed a long forgotten dream. But it was not a dream. Across the ocean, a hero was returning to save them from tyranny and injustice. A man brave enough to stand up and fight for freedom. A man called Zorro. I know you've got Chiquita in there. There's no one else, only Bernard. Don't lie to me. Stop this carriage. It's true. Diego Viega's coming home from Spain today. I'm meeting him at the port and I mustn't be late. Kill him! Stop, Oral! <laughs> what are you staring at, you fools? Get after them! Get after them! I'll handle it now, the leader. Be careful, Bernard. <laughs> The Spanish army is torturing our people and our country. They make laws for us which they break themselves. No one can pay the heavy taxes. Children cannot play in safety. Men and women may not talk freely. Many have tried to fight the soldiers, but all have failed. Diego, my son, come back. We need your help. Father. Ah, home smells good. Diego! Hmm? Lalita, how you've grown! There's no time to talk now. You must help me to hide them. Hmm? I'll talk to the captain. You can hide behind these crates. Thank you, captain. Search below the deck. They must be somewhere on board. We'll find them. What's going on, Lolita? The man you're hiding is called Chichita. He tried to teach people about equality and freedom. But the army treats him like a criminal. If the soldiers catch him, they'll throw him in jail or even kill him. Search everywhere. He mustn't get away. I'm trying to get him away from this country, aboard this ship. You must help us, Diego. I'll do whatever I can, but what about you? You'll be in great danger. It's too late to talk. We must do something. Down here, quickly! Huh? We've got them! Come on! We found them! Here they are. My baby! I won't leave my baby. You dogs! Ah! Why are you ah! best? Well, what do we have here? That money's mine. That's... Ah! <laughs> Take him away. Take back. What do you want? I'm not going to let you leave that baby all alone. Just say that one more time, huh? I won't let you do it. You're gonna be sorry for this, even if you are a rich farmer's daughter. Keep out of this, Lolita. Never! Why, you? <laughs> hey, hey, come on. <laughs> and who are you, kid? Me, sir. Uh, I'm, um, Diego Vega, uh, sir. So, you're Don Alejandro's boy, are you? Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, sir. I heard that you were studying in Spain. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh, I, I was kicked out of school. I, I flunked all my exams because I was too lazy, so I had to come back home. Tell me, tell me what I can do with my life from now on, Major, please. 
Lieutenant, and stop sniveling like a little girl, runt. Bring the prisoners. No! Lolita, there's nothing we can do. Let go of me! We've got to go and get the baby. I was wrong about you. You're a coward. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my son Diego's homecoming party. While he's been away in Spain, he has worked hard and has succeeded in passing all his exams. <laughs> Lolita, what in the world is wrong with you, girl? You've done nothing but sit there looking miserable all day. Everyone is wondering why. We all thought you couldn't wait to see Diego again. Hmm? Come on! Put a smile on your face and go over and welcome him home. He's the cutest boy in the neighborhood and he asked you to marry him. What could be wrong with that? Or maybe you were mad at us because we suggested marriage in the first place. But you looked happy enough at the time. Oh, Lolita! I just don't know what's wrong with her today at a Diego's party. Well, at least the wine's good. <laughs> hey, don't cry. Look at this. <laughs> oh, gee. Huh? Oh, leader, I just can't get this kid to stop crying. Let me try. There, there, there. Who's a good boy now, hmm? Come on. Oh, dear. He just never stops crying. I think he might be hungry. There. That's what he wanted. Gee, Diego, you're great with kids. Being kind is not enough. Real men must be strong and fight. Hmm? Don't you understand? He needs more than just milk to drink. Huh? What he really needs is to see his parents again. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> Lolita, not married? That's right. She keeps saying her engagement to Diego is off. What's got it to her? I don't know. She just changed her mind. What I want to know is, what are we going to do? Oh, this is terrible. If she gets married to Diego, we become part of the Vega family with all their riches. I was counting on it to help with all our money problems, but now, uh, it's so silly. Carlos. Huh? What's happened? Is Diego causing you any trouble? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Uh, Diego has now become a very fine young man. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Our only worry is that our simple country girl might not be good enough for such a handsome young man as Diego. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Don't let that worry you. It seems to me that Spain has ruined my boy. Huh? huh? I wish sometimes that I had never sent him away at all. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Huh? I have orders from Commander Raymond. We have captured the filthy rebel Chiquita, and he will be executed on the hill outside the town. You are commanded to watch. Sergeant, why must we watch this terrible thing? Ah, uh, well, I don't know. It's, um, unless that, uh... Unless? As an example for anyone foolish enough to fight the army, that the same thing will happen to them. Urgh, I have not come here to pass the time of day with you. I've come to give orders. Vamanos, muchachos! Ha -ha. Where are 
are those filthy peasants? Sir, I've sent Sergeant Gonzalez and his soldiers to get them. This execution means nothing if they don't see it. We must show them what happens to anyone who dares to stand against us. Excellent. I'm glad to see you've all decided to obey. Don Alejandro Vega, I've heard news that your son has returned home. Is this true? Yes, sir. Then you'll be able to increase your grape production from now on. Excellent. <sighs> and so to business. We have captured the filthy rebel who calls himself the people's friend. You must all learn there is no mercy for the enemies of Spain. You will die like a dog. Chiquita! Begin the execution. Ready? Ah! Stop them! Aim! Fire! What the? What the? Who the devil are you? Torture innocent people for your own pleasure, and if you do not change your evil ways, Zorro will change them for you. What? Zorro! Hey, Zorro! Zorro! What are you waiting for, fools? Shoot him! <laughs> you don't scare me! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Don't curse that useless horse! Behind me. On guard! wickedness in the world. Zara will be here to avenge it. I will return! You blundering fools! Shoot him! Zorro, next time you die. Is the party over already? Where is Chiquita's baby? Mm, who? I don't know. What? What do you mean? Oh, he must be here. Boy, what a strange dream I had. <gasps> well, at least I thought it was a dream. I dreamed Chiquita took the baby, but that can't be true because he's still held captive by the army. Anyway, he said he'd leave from the pier down by the Cape tomorrow morning. Come on!
Chiquita will be trying to escape on this ship. He must be hiding somewhere. Search the ship from top to bottom. Tear it apart if necessary, but find him. Huh? Tell any lies to me, Captain, or else I'll kill everyone! I'm telling you, I don't know anything. Sound the ship's bell. Why? Chiquita is with his baby, and when the baby wakes and cries, it'll lead me straight to them. You're wasting your time. the entire ship and we have found no trace of them. Curses! I have been racking my brains about it. And what did you decide? Well, sir, if they're not here, then maybe they are somewhere else. Fathead! Oh. They must still be hiding out in the town somewhere. Search every house. Find them! Sir! The ship was their last chance. Now they're mine. Oh, hi there! Wait! Hmm? So that's it. Day, there are fewer and fewer of us left who are ready to stand up to the army. I'm worried that soon there may be no one left at all to help our people. I'm so frightened for our country. I knew I'd find you! <gasps> ha! Oh no, Gabriel! <laughs> it's the end of the line for you, Chiquita. Huh? We'll see who's hiding behind that mask, Zorro. Now, dog, you die. You're a good swordsman, Gabriel. But in future, use it for the cause of justice and freedom. Ah, ah, uh, 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 you did it! Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 
Sergeant Blood, there, there they are. Huh? It's Chiquita. I do not believe it. So that's why we couldn't find them. Rascals, <laughs> I'm glad. In next week's exciting episode of Zorro, the local wine merchants find themselves attacked by bandits who aim to steal all the wine so they can sell it to the townsfolk at an extortionate price. Sergeant Gonzalez loves his wine so much he'll risk anything to protect it. But real protection comes from only one man who will take on the bandits and the army in his fight for justice, sworn to help the weak and punish the guilty. That man is Zorro! Zorro!